Hi guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of WashU and this video is perfect if you are either committed here and you're thinking about the future, if you're deciding to come here or if you're deciding to apply. And I'm going to go through all the pros first and then the cons. And I made this list with my friends, so this is not just my opinion, but also the opinions of a bunch of other people. And I'm also going to try to go through these faster to save time. So I'm going to give you guys the pros and cons, like completely honest. And I'm going to try to be like unbiased as possible. So you guys can really decide if Washu is the right fit for you. Okay, so starting off with the pros, number one, the people are so nice here. Everyone here is really easy to talk to and it's a super like non-competitive environment. For all of my classes, I've been able to like study with people and work together in group projects and everyone's like super willing to collaborate. Pro number two are the resources. So because this is like a relatively smaller school, there's like not as many people so therefore all the resources are really easy to access for all students and you don't really have to like compete with anyone for it. There are a bunch of good resources like the writing center, there are a bunch of like tutors and office hours, and then there are always TA office hours for each class and those are really accessible. And I would say like there are just like a bunch of people there to help with every one of your classes. Next, the campus is so beautiful. Like I think it's ranked as one of the like top campuses, but it really is so pretty. Like every single one of the buildings looks really aesthetic and a lot of the sunsets here are great. Another pro is that people here are super career driven and honestly like everyone that I've met has graduated with like a really great job. All the people that I've talked to have worked at like super top-notch companies or are going to like great grad schools and I honestly don't know anyone who like does not have any good plans for after graduation. Genuinely everyone is like pretty set up and like location-wise even though St. Louis is like one of the most dangerous cities like the campus is safe and i do feel safe walking around at night around here and then along with the campus the dorms here are really great like i think we're like ranked number one for dorms in america and it definitely holds true the dorms here are extremely spacious there's just like a lot of good options but the mattresses are memory foam and it is super nice and you do get good sleep and then another part of the location is that we are located really close to the loop which is this like strip of like restaurants basically that students can go to although i would say that like not many students are actually there i feel like people don't leave campus that often because it is like more contained like kind of like a bubble and it is harder to leave but also because of that it's like a stronger community sense because there's nowhere else to like really go aside from like campus another pro that i want to include is that the school gives out really good financial aid if you're on it or if you need it okay so i'm now gonna move into the cons list and the first thing that i would say is the location so because st louis is like a really underpopulated city there isn't very much to do around like i mean there are obviously things like the arch and like forest park but because campus is really hard to leave especially as like a freshman or sophomore without a car students mostly just spend like their all their days like on campus and it does get like pretty boring after a while and like i would say like along with that with being on campus it does become like a little bit unstimulating because people get like so set in their like daily lives here that there's not really like much change like whenever i leave campus i'm like whoa because i like always forget that like life literally exists outside of wash here because everyone just spends like their entire days here another con is the work culture here a lot of people here like are really overachieving and they try to do like double majors and minors and all of that and because of that like everyone takes so many classes and there's so much work and i would say like especially after freshman year like everyone is constantly working but because of this i would say freshman year is like slightly better because people do make an effort to go to the dining halls but also like another aspect is is that like wash is like a mid-sized school but like it feels way smaller because i would say like the majority of people in our grade like, like so many people just spend like all day in the dorms and they do not leave at all everyone that i've talked to and like from what i've observed like i probably see the same 300 people every day the school like does feel like a lot smaller than it actually is so if you do like smaller schools then i would say that this would be a good school for you so in the dining halls we have like one dining hall for freshmen and there's honestly like not that many people that go to the dining halls like maybe there's like a maximum of like 100 or 200 people there like every night and like when you think about that and there's like 1,800 people in our grade like not that many people go to get dinner 
or like eat with their friends and as people like progress into like sophomore year junior year, or senior year, like everyone that i've talked to just talks about how like they either like grab food from the dining halls or they just like have stuff in their fridge and they just eat it like everyone gets so busy throughout the years so they just like mostly spend their time either like eat dinner alone or like with their sweet mates and then as for going out and nightlife i would say that like mostly people go out their freshman year but especially semester one and then as you progress like semester two and like sophomore junior senior year people really don't go out that much how often would you say they go out i would say like honestly most people like unless you're like involved in greek life and like most people only go out maybe like twice a month yeah exactly like twice a month or something but mostly like the frats and like hosted bar events are for freshmen but like juniors and seniors they do have like house parties off campus and like to begin with like not that many people do go out freshman year like i would say like especially semester one it was mostly like the same like few groups of people going out and then also the weather does get really cold here in the winter and because of that like that like stretch from like november to like march pretty much like you don't really see people walking around like people mostly just like go to class go to the library or go back to their dorm and like it, people are like very locked in here i would say it's like a very like just work hard culture and not really like play hard but like work hard but now that it's spring and the weather is getting better people are outside more and it does feel a lot nicer another thing is that washington doesn't have great name recognition so i would say like a lot of people don't really know what like washu is or like everyone thinks that it's from that it's in like washington or dc or something and then another thing is is that because washu is like a d3 sports school like no one really knows like when any of the sports games are happening because they're like no one really attends any of the sports games here so that part like does make our school lack some of that school spirit but i think that the main con is that people here do get super bored and because there's just not a lot to do people are like very stuck people feel like more confined because it's just not on my opportunities to like go out and like i don't know it's just like it feels really like, stagnant my roommate jackie is here and she's gonna give some of her thoughts hey guys just like adding on to the part about some people like feeling kind of stagnant here i would say washu is a good school for you if you feel like you don't really need like a lot to mm -hmm. feel stimulated or if you feel like you're not really the kind of person who really needs to leave the house often to have fun um i would say i have like friends here who are from like um, midwestern places like illinois or arkansas and they don't really feel like they feel like pretty satisfied here just because like they're not really used to having a lot of stimulation or like being in a big city anyways but definitely for people who like come from big cities and move here for college it definitely does feel a little bit boring sometimes just like moving to st louis and like living in missouri so i would say if you feel like you don't need like a really big environment or like a really like kind of like out there city then this would be a good school for you. And just adding on to that, I would also say like when you're picking a college, you also need to consider that you're not only picking a school, but you're also picking a city to live in for the next four years. So you should also consider whether or not you would like to live in St. Louis mm -hmm. and whether or not you would like to live in a place like Missouri. Um, and that's definitely something that I kind of wish I thought a little bit more about when picking a school. Um, so definitely like think deeply about that and think whether or not living in a city like St. Louis would be for you. However, college is definitely what you make out of it. And I would say mindset plays a huge part into it. And there's honestly really great people at this school. And even though there's not like a whole lot of things to do here, there are still things that you can do. So in conclusion, Washu has a lot of great pros and there are also cons involved as well. So I would say like really take into account all of these different factors when deciding if you want to come here and if this school is the right fit for you. I also just wanted to say that I've had like the most amazing year here and I've met like the best people, made like the best memories that I'm going to remember forever and I wouldn't trade it for anything else. So thank you guys for watching this video and if you enjoyed, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And if you have any other questions about Wash U, then please comment down below and I will happily answer them. Okay, bye guys.